Mm. Uh huh. Oh, there you are. Robert Plant once said, I'm a traveler of both time and space. Or maybe that was Doctor Who. Whatever the case may be, time and space have been questions that mankind has pondered since our paltry existence just a scant few years ago. Questions that I, as a journalist, am no one to answer. But then again, I am not Riley Martin. You see, Riley has traveled the galaxy. He has copulated with many alien life forms. Created a litany of hybrid children. All from a bare knuckle fighting background from the South. He has stood aboard the great mothership and seen sights that would make the mortal mind tremble. Here at Nuclear Clown TV, we have a great respect for Riley Martin. We have, in a manner of pure circumstantial luck, been granted a few minutes of his time. And I present to you fondly the Riley Martin Nuclear Clown TV interview. However, time constraints being as they are, I cannot post the full interview here. But it is possible to get the over 30 minutes of sit-down footage with Riley Martin in an upcoming DVD extravaganza, which will be discussed later on this channel, with forthright information about how to purchase it, so that you yourself can hold the knowledge, a, f a fraction of the knowledge that Riley possesses. We'd like to thank deeply Riley Martin, his lovely assistant Iran, for their time and assistance in making this interview happen. And we hope that it will bring to you, dear viewer, the same introspective calm that it has me. He fell asleep in New Jersey before the bombs hit the ground. Broadcasting from a bomb shelter, he is the nuclear, nuclear clown. We all know that you are an accomplished bare knuckle fighter. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think is uh, your best quality as a fighter? Strength, endurance, stamina? Well, endurance and... Uh, Strength and geometric understanding of physiology. You have to know where to hit them. Oh, uh, know where to hit them and when to hit them there. Oh, uh, you should be able to fill a man out in a few rounds. You also must not succumb to the elementals of fear. You see, it's fear that beats most fighters. Mm -hmm not the ability of that fighter. For instance, I fought a man who was known to have killed six men, and he was living on his reputation. He did not have the stamina that I did. It won half the fights for him already. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying, yeah. And uh, in the end, I beat him down. But before he died, we became fast friends, you know, for some reason. And But he was a ruthless man. I ended his career, and he ended mine. Whatever happened to your trainer, Big Manuel? Big Manuel, he died. Um, and so did uh, the young lady, Chansey. Um, I believe, I believe uh, uh, my teacher uh, is still alive. Uh, the Cambodian man. Um, you don't go into a lot of detail on, on your teacher and your book. Uh. Right. Well, uh, that is because at the time we were together, what he was teaching me was you know, ballet or something. <laughs> you know, 
He was teaching me movements not to hit something, but to avoid getting hit, uh, to balance and uh, physiology. What was his name, Iran? Exactly. My teacher, uh, the oriental young man. Uh, you know, I forget, you know. Yeah. Hmm? Chin Lo. Yeah. Chin Lo. Um, and so I wonder why should I stand in place and jump and spread my legs like a ballet <laughs> dancer and stuff like that. You were young, you wanted to hit, you wanted to yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah, right. But I found out later that when the groove began it all, it all made it, sense. It made sense, and the guy couldn't hit me. And he was still throwing himself out, you see. His strength. And I'd be tapping him, you know? <laughs> yeah. Human or otherwise, what is your favorite part of a woman? I like, uh... In fact, I like different parts of different women. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you can't lose with cute little fetuses <laughs> and nice legs. You understand? Right, right. Uh, I also like a woman generally with a little meat on her bones. Yeah, I got you. All of that twiggy bull. Uh, yeah, it's not good. We can't use expletive relief here, right? Yeah, go for it. Oh, no, yeah, twiggy shit. Uh, that ain't for me. Oh, uh, so... A woman that's somewhat voluptuous, though not obese. It's not in style right. anymore, it's a shame. I have uh, fallen in love with the lady just because of her eyes, because of the way she smiles. You know. Uh, Good answer. Yeah, it's, and what have you. So, in general, I like women, period. Uh, just women. <laughs> you know, I'm <laughs> big and little and tall and short. And uh, with the Targs being so warlike, just in their culture and being so aggressive, why do you think they're so accepted by the other uh, alien races? Why are we? Why do we accept the Russians? Oh, uh, when we were mortal enemies for so long, mm -hmm. why do we accept other groups who have uh, henceforth uh, been, uh, you know? enemies and things of this nature, the same process is more or less an action. Now, while we are allegedly friends to the Russians now, they are not totally trusted by the powers that be. You see what I'm talking about? I got you. Uh, and what have you, so this kind of the same thing there on the interplanetary level, put it like that. Now, to this day, have you discovered why the Targs chose to remove the joint from your finger? I know it's you bested one of their warriors in psychic battle, and it was kind of like right. a payment. But do you know why they chose that particular joint, if it had any meaning? Or? Uh, in uh, 1975, I found out that I had a genetic double aboard that great mothership that the Biavians had eventually taken possession of. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I believe that they took the finger uh, as a cloning process uh, to make another me and try to figure out how could this human best the target. Right, right. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. You see what I mean? Kind of like they, how the government will dissect the right, uh, right, reverse engineer something. Right. But they had to give him up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, when you were aboard the mothership, the aliens paired you with a space beaver named Question to keep you company during mm -hmm. your stay. Uh, to your knowledge, is this Question's role, or was he assigned to you specifically? Like this, is that his job to accompany he people? Was a, on the he was assigned to me specifically. Mm -hmm. If you were aboard that great mothership, chances are they would give you your own question. But he would not have the same personality that mine has. But it would be the same. Right, the same species. Genome, the same species. Uh, and uh, for instance, I am told that Question's prerogative, his personality, is taken from a per part of my personality. Mm. I beg to differ <laughs> since I'm so sweet 
I can make you puke. Yeah. Whereas he is uh, a scoundrel, scoundrel, pragmatic, wisecracking, you know. And uh, uh, you know, and I say, all contraire, <laughs> the dirty bastard. <laughs> and, you know. Uh, this is a personal. The way buddy told. <laughs> oh, yeah, he, he was sounding great. A lot of fun in the, in the book. This personal question. Mm-hmm. When I was in second grade, this mm-hmm. kid, I'll never forget this, this kid Frankie in my class raised his hand, and he said that he could feel the earth move. Mm-hmm. Now, for some reason, this stuck with me uh, for the longest time, and I was just wondering, was he bullshitting, or is there any possible use for this sort of power, to actually feel the earth move? Of course. Uh, uh, the sea lions can feel it. The cats and dogs can feel it. The birds can feel it. The cows can feel it. It is highly conceivable that a human can also feel it. But does it have this kind of ability have a purpose or...? Oh, you have to get your ass out of the way. <laughs> and, you know, tell others to do so. He may be inadvertently a messenger and may not have reached his calling or found his calling. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, if I should come and tell you, hey man, go to the storm cellar. So. I'll go with me. Just take your ass on in the storm cellar. I would not argue. Yes, what I'm saying. <laughs> in 1975, while aboard that great mothership, uh, the tan fitted me with a kind of virtual reality headset and set me in a recliner. Then they began to run flashes of uh, color mm-hmm. past me. Very fast. <laughs> whole process took about (coughs) 11 seconds and I did not know then but in the interim they had downloaded into my brain into my neural synapses Mm -hmm. 144,000 of these symbolic representations. Now, I do these symbols now uh, in freehand using ink, can't erase the ink, and markers, and no two are ever the same. <clears throat> All that matters is. Are you a type of a person that would rather love instead of hate? Right. Be fair instead of unfair. Compromise instead of be a bigot. Uh, Feed the children instead of starving them. If you are such a person, regardless of any race, creed, color, religion, tribe, etc., you're welcome aboard. You see what I mean? Right. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, it's been great, Riley. And to close, uh, mm-hmm. do you have anything you want to say to, to our friend Matt Panther, who arranged this meeting and is putting this uh, DVD together? Matt Panther is a beautiful and brilliant young man. I consider myself something of a poet. Uh, I thought I was good until I read some of Matt Panther's poetry. Mm-hmm. And uh, I have to take a back seat to that kid. Mm-hmm. The eloquence and magnificence of his mind, the young man I consider that he uh, is one of my sons. Now he's a white boy, but do not hold that against me. You know what I mean? I'll try. <laughs> right, it's right. Hard. Yeah, it's right. Hard, I know but I'll it's, try. it's hard, but uh, do not do, hold it against him. He's a beautiful kid. Uh, he has my love, and better not nothing, living or dead, fuck with him. <laughs> <laughs> You, you have a spectacular vision. The book is The Coming of Tan, uh, the Millennium Edition, for some new insight onto it. Go to RileyMartin.com. Riley Martin, R-I-L-E-Y, M-A-R-T-I-N.com. It's Riley a, Martin. It's a fantastic site. You are a fantastic man. Well, thank you. Thank you for your time, Mr. Martin. Well, it's great, and thank you guys for coming.